hey guys, so I'm sitting in my computer over there in the middle of this huge, huge uh, edit. Today we're gonna show you how to convert this. I'm going to install paint this. AC50, you're also gonna get a, you'll get a Delta 1, B on 2, J177. At this point, it with that out of the way, the next thing is wiring. I can't really share it with you because I want to finish. I want to wait till I'm done and stuff. The last few days I've been sitting on that couch. That's where I sit and I edit. Nothing interesting. So if I don't have anything to, interesting to say, I shouldn't really upload a video, right? Wrong. I wouldn't be able to call myself a YouTuber if I didn't upload a video, even though I don't have a chance right now. So a while ago I did a thing, it was called Enough About Me, What About You, in which I feature other people that were doing something similar. Uh, today I want to share with you three videos. One it has to do with 18650 cells. There's a channel uh, with a person doing a DIY power wall and he's actually doing some pretty cool stuff. I like all these people that are working on this thing so that when the next thing that I get to do one of these projects, um, well a lot of stuff is going to be already figured out or there's going to be tons of ideas out there that I can then use on my own projects. Uh, the next video that I'm going to show here is a bolt-on hybrid a system using an AC50 motor. I did believe this is the first one that I have seen where someone just bolts an AC50 motor. Essentially the same thing that my bus has, but just on top of a gas engine on a car. And they have a pretty cool car, and it's probably a pretty cool system that they're using. A third video that I want to share with you is one about Samsung. It's discussing about how dangerous the battery is because as you know, the Note 7 was discontinued and recalled because of the batteries were exploding, right? And the guy claims in this video that out of 2 million phones, 30 of them exploded, right? And so if those figures are correct, I did the math, it would be like 0.0015%. That means that one out of every 66,666 phones would catch fire. Now, you might think that that is way too dangerous. It was actually more like one out of 75,000, right? Because it was two and a half million. So it's interesting to me how humans deal with these odds because you're more likely to die in a car accident than you are to have your phone um, catch fire, right? Yet they totally blew this thing out of proportion and they totally made Samsung recall that phone and they're kind of shutting down that whole line. The next one is gonna be completely different, but it was completely unnecessary. Uh, there's a billion iPhones out there and I bet you there are more than 300 cases of batteries of iPhones catching fire. There's this one where it burned the guy in Australia. There's this one right here all the way back to 2014. Uh, you just Googled iPhone on fire and there's like tons of pictures that come up. The iPhones are not any more safe than the Note 7s. It's just the stories haven't been picked up by the news outlets in the same short amount of time that the government had to ban them from places like airplanes and stuff, right? So these are my uh, videos that you guys can go and check out because I haven't made anything interesting. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Medic, stand by. <laughs> Today we are visiting uh, my father-in-law. He lives in a town called Anza, which is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. But we're coming to visit him, spend the day with him here. Mm -hmm. 